Good day. The state television company of Western Armenia presents all the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast. The Armenian Church of St. Astatsatsi in Naintab first turned into a prison and then into a mosque. The University of Salzburg has allocated grants for the study of culture and spiritual heritage of Artsakh. The people of Artsakh have rights and the UN should address these issues. A resident of Shushi, Turkey should be condemned for the genocide of Yazidis, Yazidi Justice Committee. How well do we know Christian Hamshes, Mahir Oskar? Let's find out the settlement of Western Armenia, the village of Garnen. Erebuni Fortress is one of the brands of Armenia. Armenia French Exposition summed up the result of excavation in the fortress. The Church of St. Astatsatsi in Ainta, built according to the project of great Armenian architect Sarkis Balyan, was one of the largest churches in Western Armenia. The church, built in 1892, served the numerous Armenian population of Ainta in 1915. After the genocide of Armenians and the founding of the Republic of Turkey, the church was placed under the control of Ministry of Justice of the country. From 1913-1918, the church was used as a prison for almost 15 years. 1918-1985 was the Holy Mother of God was turned into a mosque. The church was given the name of the mosque Kurtulush. Inside there was a separate place for prayers. This church is of great importance for Western Armenia. It is part of Armenian identity in our occupied homeland. At the initiative of the head of the Department of Armenian Studies of Center for the Study of Christian Eastern University of Salzburg, in Austria, the Armenian scholar Jasmine Dambruck scholarships have been established for researchers studying spiritual and cultural heritage of Artsakh. The purpose of the new scholarship program starting in spring in 2022 is to encourage young researchers to study topics related to the history of culture and art of Artsakh with a special focus of issues related to tangible and intangible cultural heritage. The maximum amount of the scholarship is 3,000 euros. The deadline for accepting applications for grants of Armenian studies focused on the culture and spiritual heritage of Artsakh started on July the 1st and deadline is October the 1st, 2022. Displaced people from Artsakh hold a protest rally at the UN office. Ashot Harutsunyan, director of the Museum of History and the city of Shushi, told reporters, Our main requirement is to obtain refugee status. The statement of November 9th marked the return of refugees. The president of Azerbaijan declares that all those who lived in Shushi before 1988 and their refugees will have the right to return to Shushi. Now the question arises, if we don't gain this status, it is very likely that we will not be able to return. This international organization should should not show double standards when there are conflicts in some other places they immediately intervene but in this case they say that we are a recognized country regardless of whether it is recognized or not the people of Artsakh have rights the UN should address these issues he is said Western Armenia has repeatedly noted that Shushi people should return to their native territories and according to international law Shushi should withdraw from the Azerbaijan occupation the Yazidi justice community, having studied the role and negligence of states that the genocide of Yazidis completed its report, which took three and a half years. The committee, consisting of leading lawyers from five international human rights organizations and a well-known human rights activist Helena Kennedy, who participated in the preparation of the report, called for Turkey to be tried of the International Court for Cooperation with the genocide organized against the Yazidi people. The 278-page report says that a Turkish state allowed ISIS mercenaries to cross the border allowed a slave Yazidi women and children, selling them for money, conducted anti-Kurdish exercises with mercenaries and thereby assisted the organizers of the genocide. At the same time, the writer Elif Shafak recalling the condition of the mother and a child of Yazidi held hostage of the Turkish capital Ankara, who were released in exchange for ransom, said Elif Shafak. The persecution of the Yazidis is a great shame. The genocide has not ended and more than 3,000 Yazidi women and girls are still missing. Western Armenia condemns any genocide Act since a year before the genocide of Armenians, Armenians were subjected to genocide in their native territories and still bear catastrophic consequences. Writer, publishes, philosopher and native of Hamshens, Mahir Oskan, is the author of numerous books and articles, including articles related to history of Hamshen Armenians and their dialect. Below we present an expert from Oskan's article, recently published on a Turkish language website, concerning Christian Hamshens. Before the settlement in the region of Ottoman Empire, the Hamshens were a Christian community. This is also confirmed by one of the famous sources of Turkish historiography, Kafretin Kizoglu, and Ottoman documents. Ottoman archive documents, as I mentioned in this article, the Hamshens are presented as Hamshen Armenians who were Islamized. Read the full article on our official website. 
The village of Karnen is located in the Mush district of Bagesh village in western Armenia, near the town of Wish. There was a church of St. Hakop in the village. There was also a school attached to the church. Karnen was one of the largest Armenian populated villages in the Mush province. In 1914, there were 130 houses with a population of 1,500 people in the village. The main occupation of the population was animal husbandry and agriculture. They were also engaged in poultry. On July 11, 1915, the Turks attacked the village. There was heavy and persistent battle. Armenians were dying, with the exception of a few orphaned children who, accompanied by Russian troops, crossed into eastern Armenia. The Turks were turning the village into ruins. The capture of Shush by the Russian army in 1916 allowed the Armenians of Taron to return to their cradle, among who were the compatriots of Sassoon who survived the genocide. However, in 1918, a new attack by the Ottoman army forced the Armenians of Mush province to leave the holy Taron. In the fortress of Orebuni, the results of the last one-year excavation carried out since 2008 on a territory of the fortress were summed up. The expedition was hosted by French ambassador to Armenia, Anne Loyud. This research program carried out within the framework of cooperation between Armenian and French archaeologists mainly focuses on the monument central fortress or Artian temples. Anne Loyud noted that the head of the French archaeological exposition, Stéphane Deschamps, together with Armenian and French colleagues and students, have been working in this antiquity for many years with the financial support of the French Minister of Foreign Affairs and the Yerevan Municipality. French professor Stéphane presented that here, on one hand, is a chance to establish scientific cooperation with Armenian colleagues archaeologists and conduct scientific exchanges, and on the other hand, to study the entire story of the fortress of Araboni. Now, musical part, Armenian folk song. The full version of this video is available on Western Armenia's YouTube channel. This was all for today. Goodbye.